Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, first of all, I would like to thank our subscribers. Nakarich na po tayo ng 22 subscribers in just 24 hours and 103 views of my first uh, uploaded video, which is Walang Kahirap Hira. And natulog lang ako. <laughs> and then, and then boom, ando na. And uh, this is going to be my first vlog, and we are going to talk about this one. Nakita niyo, um, I am holding a pouch, and inside, ito yung pag-uusapan natin. Excited ka na? Ito. Yes, this is it. Ito yung tinatawag natin ocarina. Ocarina, or O-C-A-R-I-N-A. Ocarina, um, initially nag-originate uh, ito way back uh, 12,000 years ago. Medyo, it belongs to an ancient type of uh, woodwind instrument. It uh, originated from China and Mesoamerica. And uh, it is uh, originally and usually made of clay. Mm, um, ang yung iba, ginagamitan nila ng ceramic but it could also be made out of um, metals stones bones no and uh, wood ayon uh, yung iba pati yung bottle no kasi simple lang siya um, uh, it is uh, also known as uh, sweet potato or little goose no <clears throat> And then, uh, over time, nag-evolve na siya. Dati, yung, yung itsura nito, parang kahit ano-ano lang na bilog o kaya basta yung enclosed, yung closed siya, tapos hollow sa loob, tapos nilagyan na ng mga butas-butas. Usually, yung pinaka-common is uh, made up of four holes, up to six holes, yun yung original. Pero as time goes by, nag-develop, nag-develop, tapos nang mula China at Mesoamerica, napunta siya sa Europe, napunta siya sa kung saan saan mga lugar, at ayun, nakagawa sila finally ng iba't ibang uri ng ocarina. So, this one, ito yung hawak ko, ito yung tinatawag nating transverse ocarina, o tinatawag most commonly known as sweet potato dahil sa shape niya. And then, meron din tinatawag na inline, meron din um, triple, triple hole, and then meron din double, ayun. So, iba't ibang uri siya. Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin itong ocarina na nakuha ko galing South Korea. Ito yung noble AC ocarina made of of uh, ceramic 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 to at saka hindi ko to binili na ibinigay lang to sa akin as a prize kasi noong 2011 when we went to Korea for a mission trip meron kami dong nakasalamuha meron kami dong uh, na meet na isang Korean Christian at sa church nila ang um, marunong siyang mag-play nito at saka iba't ibang uri ng ocarina pinit-play niya merong mga bilog merong mga maliliit meron ito yung ito yung alto kaya sabi niya uh, tuturuan daw niya kami and then yung ano niya pag nalaman daw namin kasi pito kami pito kami yung Filipino na pumunta doon para sa mission trip ayun pag uh, matututo daw kami mag-play nito at saka marunong kami i-play yung, yung song na ituturo niya, bibigay niya to sa amin ng libre. Kaya ayun, syempre nagustuhan ko na rin kasi mahilig din ako sa musical instrument. Ayun, pinagtuunan ko ng pansin. Actually, tinuruan niya lang kami for within one hour. And after one hour, kuha-kuha na, syempre. Ay, ano kaya ako? Um, mabilis ako matuto. Ayun, nakuha ko itong prize. So, paano gamitin ito? So, i-identify muna natin yung parts. So, ito yung, ito yung, ano tawag? Dito ka nag-umihip, yung body niya. Tapos, it is made up of 12 holes. Kasi, so, i-count natin na. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. At saka, ito yung sa likod. 11 and 12. This one, hindi ito. This is, ilabasan to ng hangin. Okay? And then, paano siya, paano mo siya i-hold? Dapat, pag ganito yun, i-cover mo na lahat ng holes. Ayan, lahat ng holes. And then, pag na-cover mo yung lahat ng holes, at saka gin-blow mo, it will give you um, a la. 
lower la sa G clef. Tapos, pag i-open mo itong maliit na hole dito, ibibigyan ka niya ng lower T. And then, ayan, this is Do. And then, um, habang, habang ino-open mo yung hole pa isa-isa, tumataas yung note. So, ito, ito yung La, cover lahat. And then, T, ayan, Do, Re, Mi, Pa, So, La, T, and higher Do. And then, at the back naman, pag na-open yun sa lahat, itong sa likod, kunin mo, it will give you the higher Re. And then, pag in-open mo itong isa, it will give you the higher Mi. Okay? Yeah. So, paano ka mag-blow? You just, you just blow it slowly because the sound of this ocarina is very very loud and the the sound depends on how you're going to release the air in your mouth actually um it varies no if you will blow slowly eh iba yung sound and then if you're going to blow loudly iba rin yung, yung sound basically the the sound uh ma differ on how the player releases the air and kung paano niya talaga paano niya uh, i-cut yung, yung yung sound, depende talaga sa player, kaya kailangan feel na feel mo yung pag-play ayun, from the heart para ma-feel ng mga viewers o yung mga, mga nakikinig sa'yo na ang ganda-ganda pala ayun, gusto mo? okay, so are we ready to blow na? Yeah. Paparinig ko sa inyo. Ah, ito yun. Ito yung la. Eh, ganito pala yung paghawak, ha? Magkaharap yung kamay dito at saka ito dito. And then, just cover it. Dapat nakarelax yung fingers mo. Not so sturdy. Tsaka not so strong. Nakarelax lang. Okay. Then, we're going to blow like this, ha? So, it will give you the sound of lower la. And then, next is the lower T. And then, the Do. So, from Do, uh, the first octave, you have hanggang the higher do no so do re mi fa so la ti and the higher do but the the range of this alto ocarina is from lower la up to the higher mi so medyo ma, medyo malayo yung yung scope niya ng sound so pag dugtong dugtongin mo na lang ha para malaman mo marinig mo para tuloy-tuloy tayo Ayun, yun na yung last, yung higher me. Mm, Siyempre, nung first time ko tong natutunan, kasi nga fast learner ako, ayun, natuto ako nito uh, within not less than an hour. Kaya, na-master ka agad, o diba? Kaya, kasi, naka, nakatulong naman yung dati kong nalalaman sa tinatawag natin, um, flute recorder. So, next time we're gonna talk about flute recorder. Pero, ito na muna. Kasi, ito yung nasa kamay ko. Okay. So, i-blow natin ulit. From do to high, from la to higher me. And then, from me to lower la. Okay. And, gagawin ko to a little bit faster para hindi naman ako ma ano sa, hin sa hininga. Makulang sa hininga. Ayun.
really want to hear um, the first music that I was able to play with this ocarina, just um, follow me on my next vlog. So, kung meron ka natututo ngayon sa aking vlog, please uh, click the subscribe button and then click like and then click mo na rin yung bell para ma-notify ka sa mga next update natin. Thank you very much for watching! Bye-bye!